Use the lockdown period to shift a bit of weight and not only worked on his physical health, but his mental health as well. 100 Big advocate, big ambassador. He's the ideal world number one. But that is a very, very good visit from Germany's Paul Kroner. 132. Yeah, they have met each other this year. Just the, just the one game, and it was a cracking game. Luke Humphreys winning that one. This is absolutely fantastic. It was darts like that for Paul Croner against Luke Humphreys. He averaged 97.83. He might need this again. Double eight. 128. Well, how much does that hurt if it goes in? Croner hits back-to-back -back 180s. Humphreys almost denies him a shot, but fair play. Paul seems to have found a purple patch, and he's broken back immediately. I just use some... Really long darts, almost unorthodox, unheard of, but they work for him, Luke Humphreys. 134. It's nicely done. Yeah, he's not getting it all his own way right now. The German is playing. 88. He'll start on the 19, so that leaves 72, so a couple of options here. The double six. Game shot. Absolutely beautiful. 11 dart in the previous leg. But like I said, because he does that, the way he can bounce back, that confidence that he has, it's been a terrific game. This is Luke Humphrey's about to join the party. 41. An opportunity for the world number one. Not going to produce the perfect leg. But he is showing Paul Croner who's boss here. 2 1 behind is on a 10 data. 57. Yeah, look at the eyes, the determination. Game shot. And that transition across the double nine, it's never the easiest, as many commentators will tell you, many ex players will tell you, but. He just gets what it means to be a, a world number one and a world champion. He immediately assumed that responsibility of being an ambassador. Another thing we spoke about, actually, is the way that he's kept winning since, because that was not the case of Michael Smith last year. Yeah, I think Michael Smith openly admitted the fact he, he had a season of being a champion, whereas Luke's always looking forward. We uh, treble 19 to start in this 138, and he'll stay there for double 12. And that's Getting how it shot. all started, wasn't it, for Luke Humphreys? The 138. Barring the Premier League, of course, but only special players win that one, don't they? Yes, I'll, I'll lend him the trophy. This would be a nice way to win it, wouldn't it? But it's back to the set up, 65 points away from victory. And Kroner, who's been very, very impressive, hopefully, he sees the positives in this game. I've seen enough from him to say he'll have a decent season. 140. But it's over to the champ. He's too good to go for the ball and think he's going to miss it. Game shot, and he doesn't miss the double. Conference. And he wins his opener after a good workout by the hands of Paul Crone. A good respect from Luke Humphreys. Maybe a few words of encouragement there. And he's got every reason to be encouraged with his performance there as a young German. But it's Humphreys who runs riot. But I've been really impressed the way he sort of dealt with that uh, that dip in form. He's certainly got taller as a player. He's maturing nicely. And it was great to see him come through Q-Skill. I've followed his career a long time. He seems to be... 39. Seems to be throwing that dart a little bit flatter in the hand, whether he's trying a few things, Chris. Yeah, you do get the sense that 45. he's one of those players at a career crossroads where he's... He's tired of treading water and actually wants to start swimming towards the horizon. Problem with that is that you could end up going in the opposite direction as well. 140. Yeah, just a lift of the eyebrows there. And then the second treble followed. Game Absolutely shot. beautiful. I'll have to find his form if he's going to win it today. Oh, he had that horror show at the World Match Play, didn't he? You know why, don't you? <laughs> no, yeah, well, he was going home and football wasn't coming home, unfortunately. Yes, yeah, so I said he'd win it. And the way my tips go these days is Clemens looks at the 1-1-3. One, one, he hit tops in the previous. 73. I don't know you'd picked him to win. But might have needed that result after that. It's been a long time since that 
And the defeat to Christopher Tajski, it was something of a surprise. Bennett did have oh, another option there. Could have gone 54 38. Yeah, this is where, where I've been fairly critical of Clemens. He has to see out legs. This is what he hasn't been doing. Already his sense this is a, a big dart. You feel he could run away with this game. Game shot. And just look at the reaction there. That tells you everything. Eighty-three. Well, we saw Luke Humphries have the one seventy attempt for victory. He did not succeed. 84. Does Leighton Bennett earn himself a stay of execution at least? Oh, did he go for that? 42. Didn't take long to m move his eyes over to the double six target, but he hasn't hit any double target, and that could be all she wrote. And it is, and match, Gabriel Clements. it's a wonderful whitewash win for Gabriel Clements, who sees off Leighton Bennett, who just could not find a double in 2014 when he biked it over to Sindelfing and biked it back with a trophy. Oh, he took his sidecar. My mind's trying to think, was it January 21 or January 22 that I played him in the Masters and... I felt he was as good as anybody in the world right then. And for me, that was the last time I really saw the best of Mervyn King. 88. Callan Rids, once again, set up player. He'll expect to see out the double 16 and nothing King can do about it. One way traffic, isn't it? And you can see Mervyn is displaying those signs that he's almost mentally resigned to defeat here. Game shot. As Callan Rids looks to carry on. What we saw from Gabriel Clemens in the previous game, he won 6 0. Yeah, he certainly is. And like I said, you don't want to give someone like Callan Ridge a 4 0 lead because 35. I think for Callan Ridge, he'd be thinking, why can't I produce the darts I'm feeling right now all the time? That's the conundrum he needs to solve. Three PCs to his name, two in 2021, one last year. Is he going to? Launch a bid for a title today. 15. Well, something needs to happen for Mervyn King. It needs to happen now. He has the option of going bullseye with the first dart. What the modern players do seem to back themselves of hitting a treble with one or two darts. But for King, it just 53. ain't happening. Game shot. 100 Played sailing for Rids, and as Glenn said, that's when he's at his best, when he is allowed to run riot. 82. Well, it's been a superb performance from Callan Rids, professional from the first dart. And this would be a real stellar way to win, and that's exactly what the scenarios from Callan Rids. For Merv King, always fantastic in defeat, magnanimous as he goes. But for Callan Rids, once he won that first leg, he just put the accelerator on. Yeah, this is uh, nothing to do with anyone standing behind. He is having a real problem right now. And like I say, he's got that wry smile. It could have been the difference between that and the perfect leg, but something's not right. But he still is in total control of this game. 95. No nine, but double 16 would secure the leg. Double eight now. 37. So many darts so close, but not in. Nice. Hitting every wire possible. But this time, no dramas. Ian White can't finish, but he can put a dent in it. 140. Game shot. Well, I was about to say, Chris, it's impossible to get that third dart in. Just 
just while I'm delving into the darting history books, a little 99. mention to your good self. Glenn Durrant beat Mark McGinney 6-5 in the final of the European Darts Open in 2016. And that was in Blackpool as well. 140. And Norbrecht Castle, I believe. Oh, this is nice. Game shot. Absolutely beautiful. Dimitri Vandenberg was already doing the goal, so the pa practice is finished. Ninety-seven. Well, he's had a one-sixty finish in this match as Ian White. What he'd give for this one-four-four. It's a well-thrown dart. It's going to be fabulous setup play. 120. And I think this match is all dependent on this finish. And he gets two darts at double. Often that hasn't been enough in this game. Game shot. But it is on this occasion as he bounces it in off the barrel. You can see the thinking with that. Takes off the. Orden leaves himself on a two data. Yeah, I like the thinking there. The execution was not there for Ian White. He'd gone down to the 19s if he did the centre of the board there. But Dimitri, two darts away from victory. I don't think he'd be going double 19, double 19. But the setup play. He started with tops to win this match. Will that be the way and the outcome of this game? Eighty-one. So then, for the win, Get there it is. Vandenberg takes down White. Dimitri <laughs> defeats Diamond. Schindler on two six six. Slevin on two one nine. The one eighty gets Martin down to eighty six. 140. Game shot. And that gets him down to now. 12 dart leg. Ninety nine. One hundred and two. We saw Shindy take this out. Can Slevin do it to level? Game shot. He can. What a way back into the game. Twenty-two. Well, suddenly it's all one way. Fifty-nine. Game shot. And he's now made it five on the spin. It was actually a German opponent he played at the World Championship. Florian Hempel beat Slevin 3-1 on his debut. That one through it, leaving 26, but now Schindler looking for the big one. 140. So this to win it. An orthodox double. Wow. What a turnaround. It started so well for Martin Schindler, who won the first three legs of the match, was averaging 111 at the time, but suddenly Dylan Slevin kicked into gear.
Nice. 180. Very nice from Roby John Rodriguez. Who will return. 41. Double 13. 68. Decker Decker looking to shoot Shanghai. That dart has just landed a little awkwardly, which is why he's moved across to make sure that he can leave a route to the single. Now he's having to move the other way to ensure there is a clear route to the double. Game shot. Well crafted that from Mike Decker. 68. Turned it on a bit here, Mike Dudeka. That's his second 180 of this leg. And it's going to avail him an opportunity for what would be... 93. A fifth straight break of throw in this match. Game shot. Another one. 102. Second leg on the spin where he's had a big finish in prospect and missed the double, having found two trebles for it. 134. No finish for Rodriguez, even if Game he comes shot. back, but he won't come back. 55. So Rodriguez looking likely now to extend the encounter at least a little longer. Sixty-six. 36. Seems to have a little problem with his eye at the moment, Roby John. Game shot. That is the sight for sore eyes as Mike Decker seals a 6-2 success in the process and took him a long time to sort of get over that and start seeing darts as important again. But now it is. The ferret is one to be feared. Luke Littler has been feared by most this year and he showcases a glimpse as to why with the first maximum of this match. 80. Yeah, averaging three figures in both his games so far, Luke Littler. Got better and better as the match went on against Boris Kritschmar in his opening. That was on the stream board I was covering earlier on. It, Kritschmar was... 48. As good as him, if not better, in the early stages. But he just has this ability to blast through 84. legs. And that's exactly what he did towards the end of the game. This is for the opening leg in 15 darts. Double top. That'll do it. The 140 is a response, but Little is going to be first to a finish. 98. Could have been slightly better. Maybe a poke at the bull. When he returns. 100. Not even a trace of a thought about going for the bullseye there, Johnny Clayton, to make his next shot easier. So it is going to be 101, but 50. the ferret is very adept at these one treble combo finishes. Double 19. Not even close. Yeah, way off it 77. there. 77. And it's one dart at top for Luke. Game shot. And that's all he needs. So a little bit of a bridge now. World champ and world number one, Luke Humphreys. 3-1 up with 109 average. It seems like everything's jumped up a massive level for a number of players in this third round.
They've warmed up. But it's not Warned jumped it. up for Johnny Clayton here. Because Luke Littler, this to complete a huge win. Two tops. No. And I think it's a sensible play. I'm just I expect him to go to flashy three. stuff. Well, he loves double ten that much. He might go for two of those. Three of those for Johnny Clayton. But is that a parting shot? It is. Double ten. And Luke Game Littler Luke destroys Johnny Clayton, really. A 6-1 success to reach the last 16. Raymond Van Barneveld, as I say, second best statistically. But we are going to see these sorts of clashes, by the looks of it, all the way 16. through the latter stages of the tournament today. And with a number of players who've already won one of these events this year. We could see somebody pick up a second player's championship title of 2024. First player so to do. 77. So RVB looking at 105. 13. 32. Game shot. Beautiful by Barney. Who levels up this match at 2-2. Two -two. That's amazing, isn't it? You've got in the same last 16 no, round here. The likes of Vessel Nyman, only in his early 20s. Luke Littler, 17 years old. Anderson and Barnevel, aggregate age of 110. And yet it's these old boys who've been setting the standard today. With darts like that, another maximum for Gary Anderson. His fourth of this game leaves himself on double 14, but Barney will get a look to the 11s. To double 14 himself. And Gary Anderson doesn't even get a go at the double 14 because Raymond Van Barneveld pins it for a level game. Having retired and returned, it's almost like everything's a bonus and his glass is more often half full than half empty. 133. I think he just certainly played more ranking events, would have been ducking events here and there. But then again, of course, nowadays he's not a fixture in the Premier League and the World Series. It is draining being a top dark player at the top end for so long as well. Anderson looking to break back immediately. Does not get a dart at the bullseye. And this would be a sickener because Anderson has left himself on double 14 again. He's not going to be denied another crack at it. No. For an immediate break back, Barney piles on the pressure. Game shot. Pressure not felt. No evidence of it anyway from Gary Anderson, who levels up and makes this a straight race to two. Even with Anderson in three figures. 96. He's got a bit of time here, Anderson. No need to be looking at double five or the bullseye. Ooh, interesting. 90. Never quite sure what double he wants at times, Gary Anderson. He seems in recent times that he's a double 16 man more than tops, and then all of a sudden he decides that double top is the one he wants, just vibing his Get way shot. through. But when you're hitting more than you're missing, you can kind of do what you like. It's just there's been too many legs where Gary Anderson's scoring power has been too much for him. And when he is playing like this... 96. You can't really blame Raymond Van Barneveld for that. And there it is in full effect again. A fifth maximum for Gary Anderson. He's 21 for the day. We're not even in the quarterfinals yet. But Gary Anderson could be in two or three darts. He looked a little loose, those darts as well. He went for it. Brilliant ball to tee up tops. And he Get takes out double match. 10 Gary and Anderson. takes out Raymond Van Barneveld and continues producing the elite level darts that we know he can, and he has all day today, is yet another ton plus average from Gary Anderson, 103. They're looking to make it three wins out of three against the Polish Eagle this year, and go on to take the title for a third time out of three. Going the right way about it here. 180. He is now on 2180s for the day. He is hitting them at a rate of more than one every two legs. 
That's still not as good as Gary Anderson, who's hitting two for every three legs, but it's very, very good. 85. Maxim right back at him. Single 16. Leaves double top. Game shot. Nothing Ratajski could do. Brilliant setup. 180. Leaves himself single to double. Not allowed back to the board because it's a 12 data from Littler. Ninety-three. Fifty-four. It doesn't need to go on the 18s, but he might do anyway because it can leave double ten. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Yeah. Quick sums, bullseye. Sixty-three. Ninety-six. And no time at all. Little could be halfway to victory here. Double ten. Double five. Game shot. Ninety two. So an opportunity here for a Tyski. Two treble visit gets him to a makeable finish. One treble will get him to a finish. One hundred. It would have been a big ask. This is a chance. Chance is getting better by the dart. 100. First leg where Littler hasn't hit a maximum, at least one. For the 11s for a Tyski. Now to the bullseye. Get Littler shot. couldn't take out the same shot in the previous leg. Ratajski does. It is a break of throw. We are back on throw. It is 3-2. One hundred and eighty. Brilliant visit from Ratajski, his second maximum. He's down to a finish. Not going without a fight. It's what you expect from Christoph Ratajski. We have our first semi-finalist. It is Chris Dobie. He has seen off Mike Dedeck, 105 average and a 6-1 win for Hollywood. He awaits the winner of this one. Ratajski is not going to complete the 164, but Littler. 94. This is a big ask. 57 tops, tops you would think would be the route. Can't get it started. 57. One dart at double 16. 38. This first dart sails in the treble 20. I'll have a chance at double ten again. It's not been kind to him. But he's found it there. 5-2 Littler. And that little passage of play is a nail in the Polish Eagles coffin. He's in the semis. One hundred and thirty. He doesn't take it out. And if Ratajski doesn't take it out, Littler's probably going through to the semis. Can't start it off. 98. And Luke the Nuke for a 6-3 win to beat Ratajski for the third time this year. Twenty. Three mismatched darts. Big sigh from the teenager. It's not over yet. Twenty for tops. Game shot. Job done for Ratajski. He's not out of this. He has the darts in his hand. He is throwing first to level a match. And it's four apiece between Nyman and Anderson. 180. Littler ticks over to seven 180s in this match for Luke Littler. Ten in total. That's a good haul. Ten 180s 98. in nine and a half legs. The fact that Littler's reduced seven of them. 
And 24 for the day, by the way. Oh, make it 25. Of course. 180. Little glance over at the score there from Christoph to make sure... 96. He has given himself a chance if this is missed. It should be a match dart for Littler. Oh, he's got two. And he yeah, finally hits match. double top for the first time in the whole match to bring the match to a close. A 6-4 victory for Luke the Nuke. Another average over a tonne. It's his second of the day, but he maintains his average for the day at around that 100 mark. He did miss a lot of doubles, but he got twice as many darts at double than Christoph Ratajski, because once again, the scoring, magnificent. Eight maximums for Luke Littler. It's 25 for the day, and there's more to come, because he's in the semis to face Chris Doby. Oh, yeah, he's averaging 99.5 for the day. Is it 19 180s and 38 legs? So one every two legs. If you're doing that, something's going right. Yeah, I got a bit of a telling off about waxing lyrical about Damon Hetter so much, so 46. I'll try and keep the superlatives down to a minimum, but he's always striving for excellence. He wants to get better, whether it's to do with his weight, his fitness, his darts, or his scoring power, or his finishing like this. Game shot. 12 darts, a 1-2-1 one, one check out on the bullseye for Damon Hetter. First blood to the Aussie. It is a break of throw. You feel he's in this semi-final now. Never been in a semi, never been in a senior quarter final until today. 139. He hit the bucket load of 140s in his last game. Bucket load. 140. Just adding to that tally. One after nine, leaving 41, but Hetter has a chance. Not anymore. Looking for 418 to leave the bullseye. Does not get it in Vessel Nyman. 58 left. We'll be coming back, looking to break 82. and level up this game. Double 16. Next door for double eight. Moving across. Game Finds shot. it very, very well. It's a 12 darter of his own. We have a level game and we have a really good game here now. And Vessel Nyman has his own history with Littler. On the youth system last year, 58. he owned Littler. Seven meetings... Six wins for Vessel Nyman. 60. Yep, the system's working. So many players have talked about who's gone through the development to the challenge to her through Q School. And performing like this, and Vessel Nyman is the one next hundred. one. For the 11s. Double 14 for another 12 dart leg. These Game two shot. are putting on a show. This is special stuff. Damon Hetter breaks back with a 12 darter to go back into the lead. Look at disgust on Vessel Nyman's face at that one. Yeah, I think it was over 180 games he's played this year and only lost only 40 because of darts like that. It is the greatest feeling when you get to the semi final. There's hardly anyone in the venue now, and it's always a great sign. Like you're doing well and 180 produces your best start and we're witnessing it from the pair of them now there's no sign of let up Heta average 112 in the quarterfinals he's averaging similar here he is at this level and he does not like does not look like he's going to stop and yet Vessel Nyman is going toe to toe with him Luke Littler is dismissing Chris Doby 6-1 up Doby needs 6 consecutive legs to stop Littler reaching the final Another. No, he goes to the 14. Double 16. Game oh, shot. it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Like I said, it's hardly any effort. That Hardly any backswing. Then that ferocious follow-through. Those darts are akin to sort of Sam and Whitlock, the way they're going into the dartboard. Luke Littler is in the final. 103 average from Luke the Nuke. A 7-2 victory over Chris Dovey. 42. And we are either going to have a repeat of the UK Open quarter-final with Damon Hetter or the first ever senior meeting of Nyman and Litler 56. after Nyman dominated in the youth system last year.
180. Well, add that one to the list, but might not mean anything in this leg. Ops for Nyman. Just Game keeps shot. his head in front. They're just mirroring each other in this leg. What I say, usually when Damon goes low on the treble, that's when you're Fifth feeling games. it a little bit. Big chance for Nyman here, and you just sense he understands that as well. His 140s have been unbelievable. His 180s have been extraordinary. Superb. A dozen maximums in this match. That's a fifth for Nyman. And it gives him a chance to win it. And Damon Hetter. He has played superbly in this game. Vessel Nyman has just been that little bit better when it's counted. He has missed so little at the 65. back end of legs. Vessel Nyman. If he does not miss here, he is in his first senior final in PDC darts. Double four for Vessel Nyman. He yeah, is an astonishing match. player. And that is an astonishing game. Damon Hetter, the Aussie number one, loses with an average of 104 and a half. Vessel Nyman, who'd never been in a senior quarterfinal till today, has beaten Gary Anderson in the quarters, Damon Hetter in the semis. But in the quirk of the system, he's the one that's playing on the development tour. Luke Littler is forbidden 58. by virtue of his high ranking. If you're in the top 32 on the Pro Tour, you are not eligible to play Development Tour darts. 131. Yeah, he'll be played at a rapid pace. Yes, I know. Not only does he play quick, but he plays a, a ferocious dart. The follow-through, the dart goes in. Well, he'll get many bounce-outs as Littler going for 62. May need the bullseye now. That's the attempt he's going for. Game shot on the first leg. No wonder I retired, Chris Murphy. No wonder I retired. I'd have been going bullseye and bust. Oh, it's certainly a young man's game, isn't it? They say a week is a long time in politics. Well, a year is certainly a long time in darts, and it's a good point you make. 108. His presence now is just expected. Yeah, but that comes with its own pressures where we can maybe chat about that. He's got good people around him. He just has to remember what got him there. Darts like that, the love of the game. And Vessel Nyman, you sense very early in this match. And this needs to go. It could be and should be a bullseye. Game shot in the third leg. And he enjoyed that. And he needed that. He's on a remarkable winning streak. That was before this tournament, sorry. So he can add another six to that. 140. Yeah, he's fit, he's young. There'll be no concerns about how long any fatigue kicking with either of these players. 139. So sensible, so clever. Use of the board there from Nyman. He won't expect to come back, though. But he will. 72. Well, this would be a biggie. This would just show that he's ready. That's perfect. Working his way towards tops. And Game that shot on the fifth is an leg. absolute hammer blow for Luke Littler and a real boost for Vessel Nyman. Yeah, and it would be a break of throw. 130. He uses that treble 19 so well, does Luke Littler. Sometimes he's difficult to read on his finishes that he goes for. 140. Of course he hits a leg with a 140 in. Littler's messed about a little bit on. 31. Well, I did say it was a little bit unconventional. I've seen him do something similar to that before. What to leave? 36. 16 double turn. Wowzer. Double 16 for the 4 2 lead. Game shot on the sixth leg. Advantage, Nyman. 140. Yeah, the way he's playing. I don't know how long he'll be on the development tour for. His, his rankings would shoot up, of course. A real 60. pivotal moment of this game. This is for a break of throw for Littler. 
Game shot on the eighth Nicely leg. Nicely done. Butler ties it up and takes effective control. Victory against Luke Humphreys. Went on to win in Poland as well. 100 World Series. Brilliant performances there. I'm going to take someone very, very, very special to win Premier League on the debut. Very special. 99. But no comment was intentional, if anyone's wondering. Ninety-four. Well, the past sort of three or four minutes has been all about this player, Luke Littler. Looked to be struggling at one point. Double ten is often his saviour. Thirty-five. Well, it's an opportunity. For Nyman, and this has been a, an interesting game. They've been swapping the baton throughout it. He decided what to do here. Was that just a, a grip issue? Uses double 16 and game hits shot it. And shows leg. a little bit of nous there, Nyman. After the first die, I think it'd be a little disappointing if Vessel Nam has left one, six, four, and three of the last four legs. 104. 104 scored, 104 required. Begging to be hit that treble, but can't find it. Big moment 44. now, this. This is why you put the hours of practice in for moments like this. First part of the job done. He will be feeling it. Come on, he says to himself. And double 10 to be one away from victory. Feels a bit more stuttery. 40. Doesn't throw the flatty, but does find Game shot on the 12th leg. that trusty double 10. And once again, the impetus returns to Luke Littler. Yeah, we've talked an awful 65. lot about the 140 hitting the vessel now, and he could have done with one of them now. Big chance here for Little Vessel Nyman on one one five. One hundred. A final treble that was. Vessel Nyman, this simply has to go. He'll start on the nineteens. The treble twenty. Can't finish. Little will have two darts for the title. A return to the winner's enclosure. Game shot. And the match. And Luke, Luke Littler. Littler. Lands another PDC title. The 17-year-old sensation sees off the king of the development tour in 2024.